Hello and welcome to the 42nd tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series. In this part we're going to be looking at how to prevent the user from resizing the window. We'll be using the source code from the third tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. SFML allows us to prevent the user from resizing the window. This can be useful when creating a game for, for just a specific size which I did do for my second year university project and sometimes maybe you want that for prototyping or maybe you just want a specific size that's a-okay as well so let's just uh, open up our project one thing to bear in mind when you do create it just for a specific size so you don't have multiple sizes or you can't resize the window try not to make the game window big, really big uh, because if you want to maximize the number of players that can play your game, if you choose on something like 2560 by 1440, most people won't have a monitor that size. Even 1920 by 1080 is uh, not very good for most people. Something like 1280 by 720 is more in the realms of what most users are capable of. Running maybe even smaller. All it requires is one line of code, technically not even a line system so modification to an existing number. Before we do that, let's go and run our application, show you exactly what we're trying to stop. As you can see, we can resize it, we can maximize it using this button, maximize it using the built-in window feature, but we're gonna prevent that from happening. And to do that, literally after you put the title of your window, you're gonna put comma, sf dial, colon, colon, title bar, and I'll recommend that you experiment with these different styles. I'm going to put the vertical line, SF style, closed, closed, not closed, run our application. Basically what this means is we, ha we have this title bar and we have a method to closing it, which is good. But we can't resize it in any capacity at all, which is exactly what we wanted and everything just exit the application. That's it for preventing the window from resizing. In the next part of this series we're going to be looking at how to make the window go full screen and toggle between full screen and window mode. If you have any questions feel free to message us at support at The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the requirements for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thanks for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.